Good evening. My name is uh, Anthony McConnell, and I am an elementary school principal from here in the Chicago area. I'm here to talk to you tonight about my passion, learning, and technology, and how technology can help transform learning for our kids. So this um, coming up in a second is a picture of me, kindergarten graduation, 1982. Yeah. And I know what you're thinking. How did I end up a principal and not the owner of a chocolate factory or a, a, a fashion designer? But I show you this to illustrate that although we've had amazing advances in fashion, we haven't changed much in our schools. And, and there's great examples that we see every day. I mean, these pictures are 100 years apart. But I would argue as a principal that the learning happening in this classroom is not very much different, even though there's a lot of technology in the classroom on the right. When I was a kid, we got two computers. And, and the only thing I had access to was this great game called Oregon Trail. But I learned so much from it. Yeah, I learned time and resources and that sometimes bad things happen to good people for no reason whatsoever. But education didn't take advantage of that for me. And we still move kids through our schools based on a factor of time. You learn fractions in third grade at eight years old for the simple fact that you're eight years old and in third grade. And that's the only reason. But technology gives us the chance to transform learning. Learning is a verb, it's not a noun. Learning is not something done to kids, it's something that kids do. And technology gives us a chance to actually make learning kind of jump off the page for all of our students. There is no staple more ingrained of our old system than the worksheet. And it's always an activity of a low cognitive function, right? You're connecting dots, you're circling words, and it, it never actually has any benefit for kids. And we know this. And the worst thing that we do in education is we think that taking a paper version of a worksheet and making an electronic version of a worksheet <laughs> is, is actually innovative learning. It's the worst thing we can do with technology. But let me give you a different example of how we use technology in a good way. Let's say a kindergartner, the youngest kid in K-12 in K education is learning their letter sounds. And let's say they're learning the long E sound, beat, be, bean. What if instead of having them circle words on a worksheet, we sent that kid out into their world with an iPad or a device. We had them find items in their world and take a picture of it, record a video, record an audio file of them pronouncing that word. Go to your mom and dad, with your mom and dad to the grocery store and then upload it immediately to your entire class. So not only do you get feedback from your child's teacher, you can also get feedback from your classmates on how you've done at any time of day. You can actually get grandma in California to give you feedback. Which one of those two learning experiences do you think lights up more neurons in a child's brain? And which one's just more fun? Which one's more beautiful? Which one would you rather do? This is how we have to transform learning. We have to make it an active experience where it gives kids the chance to come together in meaningful ways to transform all of our schools, not only for our oldest kids, but for our very youngest kids, which I see every day in my school. And I know why we got here, right? Because so long, the only way that you knew anything was through your teacher or a textbook. That was my entire school experience. And the worst thing, if you're paying attention to grammar, we don't even know if she was right <laughs> half the time. But now the world of information is at our kids' fingertips. And I talk about this all the time. School has changed. We are no longer the holders of the information. That is not our job to dispense it anymore. The information is ubiquitous, and the job is to teach you how to use it and how to navigate it. And we got to get rid of our fears of technology with kids. Privacy is an issue. Screen time might be an issue. But we have to overcome it. Because what I see in my school is I don't see that technology pushes kids apart. I see that it brings kids together and that it leads to real face-to-face -face interactions. I'll give you a great example just from my school last week. I had two nine-year-olds in fourth grade ask me if they could start a coding club. They had 35 kids show up for their coding club at recess. <laughs> Learning to code is on the same level as recess for nine-year-olds today. And before you think we don't have the money, Chicago Public Schools spends $13,500 a year on a child's education. For 1% of that, you could put a Chromebook in the hands of every kid in this city. And for 3%, you could put an iPad in their hands. Don't limit a child to your own learning, for they were born in another time. And the time has never been better for us to actually change the learning experience for all of our kids and all of our children. Because they're going to work in places like this.
Thank you.